Hello everyone, you're watching PokerNews.com and welcome to our coverage of the Poker Stars Championships Bahamas. I am with Jason Kuhn. First of all, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Easy, easy street. You know, we've done a lot of videos with you looking into the coming year because you seem to be someone who sets goals for yourself, meets them. Clearly, he's got a lot of fitness goals that he's managed to meet. But as I was scrolling through your Twitter, you mentioned that you ha you're working on something right now, something in the works, a yeah. seminar coming in 2017 mm -hmm. about biohacking with a poker sort of focus. So yeah. explain that first of all for people who might, you know, like myself, who might not know what that means. It's as simple as getting your body and mind to perform at a level that's much higher than the average the average can do just by living the day-to-day -day life. So little hacks, little tricks that you can do to get your mind and body to perform at the next level. And there's a lot, a lot behind it. Um, so but I've not been, drugs. No drugs. No, no. I mean, small amounts of caffeine, nothing crazy. But that 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 could be a hack. I mean, yeah. Actually, biohacking could involve using drugs. We're not going to recommend that. But if you wanted to get your brain to do some really crazy stuff, you could you could do a lot of different things that wouldn't be legal or recommended for long periods. That won't be part of the biohacking seminar that we're doing. But feel free to look it up if you're interested. Yeah, so for years, like, I've just been obsessed, like, okay, everyone around me is so smart and so talented, how can I try to find a little edge here and there to make some more money? I mean, it's, if you just, uh, especially somebody like me, that if I were just to rely on my uh, natural talent, I would get eaten alive by guys that, that are in here. But um, I said, hey, what, what can I do to work hard and figure stuff out and little tricks that I can add? And over the years, I've gotten pretty good at it and not nearly as good as the guy that, uh, is responsible for me learning a lot about my body and mind and I just thought it was a long shot to even mention to him uh, hey would you be interested in doing something poker focused because you've really changed my life and a couple other guys you've really impacted in a positive way and, and I feel like poker players are starting to get onto the trend of oh I shouldn't just eat bagged potato chips all the time it looks like everyone's kind of getting into the fitness and and with edges getting smaller and smaller and smaller every year and rate getting higher and computers getting better uh, this is another way that a group of us can get together and improve and make more money and live happier, better lives. Well, speaking of people who maybe, you know, are not living at the optimal level, I did see another tweet on your Twitter, which uh, was about a unique experience that you had with an Uber driver who may or may not just ever even have time to use the restroom. So can you just briefly give us, uh, is that a true fact? Yeah, that That's was a right? trip, man. It was down in Florida. I just busted a tournament and I was, whatever, I wasn't that tilted, but I was ready to get out of the casino and I march out and I call my Uber and this guy shows up and the door flings open and the car reeks of weed and then as we go down the road like he starts screaming at a lady that cut him off like and cussing at her and uh, and I was starting to become a little alarmed and then he asked me if my hotel had a bathroom in it and I said yeah it's a hotel and uh, have indoor plumbing there. And he's like yeah no nah, I can't wait and then he just pulled out a bottle and started peeing in it while we were driving down the road and I was like oh my god is this actually <laughs> happening I could smell the urine like through the air conditioner and uh, yeah, I, I hope felt you gave him a bad rating. No, I did. I actually sent the videos to Uber. I never like want to make some lose their job, but I figure, hey, you know, if there was a woman in there and he started doing that, that's just unacceptable. So I reported him. I mean, the, I can only imagine. Actually, I'm sure there's a YouTube page out there somewhere or some like hashtag Uber stories. There's got to be a lot. Oh my god! Send me, please, at Anti Chardonnay your Uber stories because that was wild. that's horrific. Getting in the car with strangers is a gamble, but yeah. it's not going to be a gamble if you guys definitely want to get your brains right. Get your bodies right get yeah, your blood tested sure. get it straight in april we'll be looking forward to that we'll keep you guys posted as it comes more and more on and of course good luck to you in the super high roller Thanks. just want a big big pot jason coon sarah herring you're on pokernews.com